So this video is going to be another quick one, just looking at the sum dist module from LZX Industries. This is a really great little utility module that fills a couple of needs that can really be used in any patch. The bottom section is the distribution section, and we'll go over this very, very quickly. Basically, this just allows any signal to be multiplied across a number of different outputs. So this is uh, essentially just a multiple module. This is also can replace stackables, which are really great cables, but they can be a little faulty. Um, this is a much more secure and uh, solid connection. So just to show you, whatever signal goes in here is going to flow through to each of these outputs. So I get the same output here if I add the green. And I can add a blue and etc. Now these also flow down. So if you theoretically needed to take uh, this oscillator and run it to 12 different places in your patch, you could. Each one of these is going to give you the same thing until you go and break these connections. So you either have four, four channel malts or one 16 channel. It's not terribly complicated. There's a lot of places it comes in handy in most patches. Um, and if you're doing something like planning for a performance where you don't want to be taking a risk on something like a stack cable, uh, this is a really, really great option. Uh, especially with things like external video processing, you could take your external video signal, plug it into here and then patch it all over the place. Now, more interesting is the top section, which is the sum section. Uh, and the sum section here is going to give you uh, an additive mix of whatever you plug in. So one thing that this is very useful for is shape generation patches. So I've got two inputs. And again, the way that this works is very similar to the dist. So it takes three inputs and gives you an additive mix of the output. So I have two different oscillators here. We can put those into uh, matrix mixer just to see. So you see we're getting our first oscillator, our second oscillator, and then we're getting an additive mix of the two. Of course, one place where this is very useful is if you're trying to key complex shapes. So I'm going to take a key output and I'm going to take this sum out into my here, and then we get some nice triangles. Now there's no controls on the sum disk, so uh, something like a passage could be useful. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, if you wanted to change how much of each of these shapes influences this output. The sum section also has normaled connections. You can see the little lines going. So each of these is going to flow down through each of these, uh, through each of these rows. So as you'll see, we get the same same sort of thing going on each. But one nice thing we can do is we could take, for example, these uh, two inputs that are giving us our main triangle shape, and we can use this third column to introduce a little bit of difference. So I'm going to patch in column two, or sorry, row two, I'm going to patch in row two, and we'll get a second keyed output here. Now this is going to give me essentially the same exact thing, but I have an independent threshold control now. And I can also choose to break these connections. So now we're just seeing oscillator one, and in place of that, oscillator two, I'm gonna put a shape from angles. That's a nice angle. So you can see how that's starting to work. And then let's just go for a third one here. So I'll take another one of these outputs, put it into yet another keyer. And we'll take that output into our third channel. Let's get something purpley. There we go. Now we're just getting a straight duplicate of what we see on the second row in this third row. 
We do have an independent threshold control, so that's nice. But we could also go and insert something totally different. So let me show you what happens if we take an angles. And let's go into this third input here. And we can look at our third threshold control. And so that's getting something pretty cool, but I think what's happening is uh, this angles is kind of pushing the whole mix to basically be just white, um, unless we're in, you know, really extreme ranges here. So I want to get a little bit more range out of that. Um, and because this is just a pure additive summer with no controls, it's going to push things up towards white really fast. So a good trick is to use a processing module. I'm going to just use the passage, which is essentially very similar because it's right next door here. So I could take the input into the passage first and then take the output into that uh, input on the sum dist. And then what this is going to let me do is attenuate that output from ramps, or sorry, from that output from angles. And so this is going to give me a little bit more control over what's happening. And just to show you some of what we could do, so we could break this other normal connection here. And let's just do sort of the same thing with a different angle. So we'll take just a different output from angles and put that into another channel here. And start to adjust that. Let's find one that's a little more fun. That's nice. So now we can start to wipe across here. So it's not a super complex module, but it does have an almost infinite number of uses. You could also use it to sum together different modulation sources. So let's take a simple LFO and let's uh, take a look at what happens if we use this to modulate our keyers. And right now it's modulating all of them, so that's pretty neat. Cool. Just get this into a nice range. There we go. And then I'll slow that down. So we've got an LFO, but maybe we want to use a few different modulation sources. So let's take that LFO into one channel of our sum dist module. Let's take the output and put that into the CV of the keyer. So this should kind of look the same. However, we do have these normal connections. So that's going to be sort of throwing us for a loop because this is flowing down into here and that's flowing down into there. So we do want to break those connections. But first, let's add in something else, maybe like a dual shape generator. And so you can see we're getting a much more complicated modulation now. And I'm just plugging a dummy in here that's going to break that connection. So all we're getting now is the, the sum. So all we're getting now is the sum of the LFO and the dual shape generator. But we could also go around our patch and try plugging this into some different places and seeing what we get. So that should give you some basic ideas for how to get started with your sum dist module. It's a really nice utility module that can be used in any patch. It's probably going to feel a little more at home in larger systems. Probably not the second or third module you want to get, but uh, once you get to a system of around this size, I would say it's pretty indispensable. I really love mixing signals together uh, and then distributing them around the patch, and it's perfect for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.